Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. In times of crisis, how do we help each member of our own family to make the Holy Family their source of hope and strength in discovering God's will for them? I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary brought the child up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered the sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Today's Gospel is a rich source of reflection for all families. The episode already foresees the crisis that the Holy Family will face because of the child's identity and mission. He will cause many in Israel to rise and fall and will become a sign of contradiction. But the episode also shows what resources the Holy Family has in facing all the crises that will assail them. The child's parents prioritize God's will and submit to God in all matters. Their coming to the temple demonstrates their fidelity to God's will expresses in the law. God's guidance and grace are the resources that will enable them to weather all the storms that their family will encounter. 
What is shown about the Holy Family is God's design for all families. Conflicts and crises are inevitable. Regardless of their magnitude and complexity, the resources that families must turn to are the same. God's guidance and grace. Nothing can substitute for this. Obedience to God's will is the protective wall that will shield families from the insidious attacks of the enemy. God will never abandon those who rely on His help and protection. The Feast of the Holy Family is a constant reminder of this truth. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, keep families intact in the face of evil forces that threaten to destroy them. Amen.